Good morning from Explorer of the Seas. Today may possibly be our most anticipated day. It is mine for sure, and I am not joking you. I could not sleep last night because I'm like a kid on Christmas morning. I'm just so excited for this pizza. We are in Naples, Italy, and that is the pizza capital of the world. And yeah. we're gonna get some good pizza today. Let's take a look. We're docked next to this MSC ship. There's a Viking ship. Um, you can see the city down there. You can smell the pizza wafting over here. Looks like there's a fortress. It smells like tomato, cheese, flour. Mm. I can smell the mozzarella. Mm -hmm. I, smell, I, I made some basil. Um, also, there's like a um, celebrity beyond is beyond our vision over there. <laughs> but let's go out there and eat. Yes, and explore. Ur of the seas. Explore Ur of the seas. Okay, we made it off of our ship and we are here. There's a there's a fortress over there. Castle Nuovo. And then we're heading into the city now into our first pizza stop. But this is why cruising is amazing because last night we went to sleep in Sicily. Basically we just up. had dinner, went to sleep, and now we wake up and we're in Naples. Napoli. It's, that, that, this is why cruising is the best. It is the best. As we were sailing into port this morning, we passed by the volcano. Mount Vesuvius. And I have an irrational fear that this thing is going to erupt. Like, I don't know. We read some articles that said that it's been like a little earthquakey here. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think a lot of people do an excursion to go to Pompeii. I mean, on a future cruise, I would, I would love to do that. Yeah, I definitely want to do that. But... Um, but pizza is the number one priority. Yes, of course. Okay, we've been walking all the way from port. We're almost at our first stop. We've already walked a mile and a half, so we're really gonna be working off this pizza. Okay, here's our first stop. This is... La Massardona. Massardona, mm -hmm. this is Marsardona. Okay, so it looks like we got the English menu and we're inside here. It looks like this one is a table service. Okay, so we got our first pizza. <laughs> Look at this. This thing, look at the size of Brian's hands and look at the size of this This is friend. amazing. This is the normal size, there's a small This size. is the normal size. They Now they told us to um, use our hands, but we're gonna cut it in half. Yeah, right? cause this is gigantic. We're breaking the rules in the first stop. Yeah. Should I just like stab this yeah. thing? Yeah. Wow. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, oh, do you see that steam? Do you yeah. see that? Oh. <laughs> so, oh my God, it smells so good. It was really funny because she she brought it out in a bag. Yeah. She had a plate in a bag and then she went. Whoosh. It was a wow moment. It was a wow moment. So okay, we're going to ten. Our place. Our plan is to go to ten places. Okay. Ten pizza places. Ten 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 stops on this on this route today, and it's an efficient route. Like we're starting at one point and it's going in the most efficient route to the. Our, like a uh, half circle. Our ten places. Now our plan is ten. We might run into a situation where something's closed. Or we've eaten too much pizza, we're gonna we, throw it out. Yeah, we keel over, I don't know. Um, but that's our plan, so. Um, also, um, here, oh, you wanna look at the inside? I here? really do. <gasps> wow. So we got the marinara. That's gorgeous. So our plan is to get margarita pizza in each place, but um, here their specialty is fried pizza. So we're, we got the fried marinara. Of so. course. It was the closest so, to like a margarita yeah. pizza that they so have. We're gonna basically be getting margarita at each place, but this place, this is the specialty, so we have to get this. Yeah, I think you need to eat it. I really do. I'm gonna use my hands now. Okay. I'm not gonna touch your side. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's hot, okay. <laughs> this is gonna be messy. It's funny how it was really like puffy when we started, but then you cut it and like, like all that steam goes away. Well, this is my first pizza, pizza in Naples, so this is a big moment. It really is. The thing that really stands out is the crust. Like, it's really like the main taste you get. Really? Like the, like the dough. Yeah. It's, it's really good. Um, it's, it, I've never had anything like this before, you know yeah. what I mean? Because it doesn't look like there was much cheese in it, is yeah. there? Like the main um, flavor you get is, is that it's a really good crust or the dough or whatever. But yeah, I've never had anything like this. Um, it's essentially like a huge pizza roll, you know? Yeah, it is really hot. I want to take a peek inside. <laughs> you know, it kind of looks like bruschetta. 
with the like the tomatoes the way that they are. Look at that, you got the steam coming out. I'm gonna take a bite from the middle because okay. you were talking about the bread and it seems like the bread's on the outside, the tomatoes are on the inside, so I'm gonna be a savage. Okay, good. Wow, right from the middle, that's a great, great way to do it. That's so good. Yeah. Of course, the steam spewing out like a volcano. <laughs> My little uh, pizza is erupting right now. We got the diced tomato. We got some garlic in there, it looks like. Mm, I can taste it. We got some oregano, looks like, maybe. This is good. Yeah, it's good. It does taste a little bit like a pizza roll, but obviously. It, it's way more elevated. Fun. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's more, it's more, the predominant flavor you get is really just that good but it's dough. good dough. Yeah. I <laughs> ate it until it was a nice smiley face because that's how I feel about this. <laughs> I'm from Middletown, Delaware, and the Christiana Mall in Delaware used to have amazing pizza when I was a child. And that pizza place unfortunately moved when they remodeled the food court. And I have been chasing the feeling of eating that pizza ever since because that was the best pizza I've ever had. My family, to this day, we talk about mall pizza. And it's like, it is the best pizza we have all ever ate in our entire lives. Wow. And this is the closest I've ever felt to eating mall pizza. Really? Yes. Wow. So good. So this was uh, Masardona? Mas Masardona? I'm sorry. I will never know the pronunciation. But... Which is why we're calling it Stop A. Yeah, so that was Stop A. And um, we're on to our next stop now. Something cool about that place is they have pizza for breakfast because they open at 7 a.m. Breakfast I think, pizza. I think they know um, the tourists, you know, might have a flight or, you know, might be jet lagged or something. So that's actually why that was our first stop is because we knew that that place would be open. And our next stop is actually a place that's open very early as well. Okay, we made it to our next pizza stop. This one, stop B, it's Pizzeria Tutino. Looks like their specialty here is that, uh, wallet folded pizza. So Portafoglio. So we're gonna get that. Of course. Here's what we're getting here. Pizza uh, Portafoglio. Two euros. Okay, so this is stop B. Okay, we're we're naming the stops A, B, C, D, etc. because we want to rank each spot. So we're gonna give like first place, second place, third place. Um, after, as, as actually as the day goes on, we're gonna like say this place is better than that place and then like at the end it'll be like this is first place so saying like oh this is our first location or it's, it's kind of confusing yeah we would so, be like our first location is yeah. in fourth place or whatever that's just made up but so, like that would be confusing yeah so we're doing stop a b c so this is our second stop stop b this pizza um, is so hot we've been having yeah. to play like hot potato with it it's burning my hands so uh, you should eat it it's so it's the folded pizza it's the folded margarita pizza it looks like all the locals go here. Oh my God, people were coming up right after we ordered and just like placing money and it's like the woman already knew what they wanted almost. Just like throwing. Yeah. It's like it's, so this was two euros and there's a coin or it's yeah. two euros and people are just sliding it across the table. We're Looks like this is gonna be legit. Um, do, here, I'm gonna unfold it here just for the camera because this is a little sneak peek. I'm not gonna eat it like this, but. Whoa, do you wow. see that steam? Wow, look at that sauce. Really nice, like, leoparding on the outside yeah. of it. Uh, not too dark on the outside. Um, we got a little bit of basil in there, and mozzarella and the yeah. sauce. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna... Yeah, I mean, you can see the underside. It's not not super leopardy on the bottom there. Uh, I feel like I need to eat this as as a, as a the folded twice. I feel like that's easier. You know the bottom's gonna be... I know, like, like that's what I wanna... Soupy, the soupy center's gonna be really soupy. I want you to get through this part so that I can get to the soupy center. So the place right behind Brian, this Tutino, that's where we went. I do prefer the places that are quick service here because we're on a quest of 10 places. We gotta- We can't be sitting down. We can't do too many sit down table service. I'm just gonna do one more bite. I gotta, it's, it's hard to get a- You're getting all the crusty areas. I'm getting the crust. The crust is good. I'm gonna tell you right now, stop A. Is better than this. Wow. I'm sorry. Okay. Not to, I, wait, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have said that because now I'm like. You're influencing. I'm like influencing you. That's okay. I can be my own person. Still really good. Yeah, of course. Sauce is really good here. We're in Naples. I want to be different from Brian. Yeah. And I want to just eat straight from the center. No. Yeah. 
I mean, the crust was good. Mm. So you got more of the, the cheese. Not, not too much cheese on here, you know? We got dogs barking in the background. We got cars honking. Not people shouting. Bird, yeah, people shouting, birds flying. We're right in the middle of uh, the city here. I think I had my first bite of cheese today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's good, but I think you're right. Like literally when I ate that last one, I was like, I was having that like flashback to my childhood, like in Ratatouille. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not getting that here. It's very good. Very good. You should eat some of the soupy center. Okay. I'm gonna have a little soupy center here. Yeah, you can, I, I gotta, I'm gonna get a cheese bite right here. Cheese bite coming in. It's different. That improved it. Yeah. I knew it would. At first, I was like, this isn't the best pizza I've ever had. Oh. Once I got that cheese, now I'm like, okay. I, I was now you're in Naples. I'm missing the cheese. Okay, this is really good. I'm still going to give it the edge to A. Me too. Exactly. Yeah, it's burning my mouth too. Yeah, How probably burn? your cheek. How many burns am I going to have on my mouth? after today but that's how you know you you did it right but look at the basil peeking out oh yeah with the cheese that's good basil's trying to hide but i see him in there look at this i mean that that's a that's a pound of dough right there more than a pound actually probably two pounds of dough right there <laughs> i'm just walking through naples with my pizza this is what this is what you do here. This is what the locals do. This is walking to my next pizza stop with my pizza. My I got my wallet. That's all I need. <laughs> the only way to walk around Naples is with a wallet of pizza. It just, it just honestly, it feels so funny walking around with this, and I'm like, <laughs> especially because we're walking to the next pizza stop. I got my watch. Got my wallet. You're good to go. Well, we found our next stop because of the huge crowd. This is the most famous place here in Naples. Uh, it's Pizzeria di Da Michelle. Something kind of funny is there's a huge line here. It looks like they only opened 12 minutes ago. Um, just a huge crowd over here. And then across the street, we got this place that looks like it could be using some business. We got some servers just standing around, empty tables over there. Meanwhile, Everybody's over here for this one. They wish their pizza was as good as this place. Yeah, this is the most popular spot to come. Will it be the best? I don't know. Why is that? Is this the one from Eat, Pray, Love? This is, yeah, this was in the movie Eat, Pray, Love. So we're going to get the margarita. It's five fifty, And then I guess a Coke Zero. <laughs> There's the inside here. Here's all the awards they got on their door. Tons of Michelin awards. This is Pizzeria de Michelle. This is the most popular place. When you go online and you look at like the best places in Naples, this place always shows up. This is where Julia Roberts ate in Eat, Pray, Love. So let's, let's take a look at this here. It's like I'm holding a baby or something. You are. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh la la. Oh, look, this is gonna be a soupy one. You see that? That is so soupy. We got one piece of basil on there. This is our cheesiest pizza yet though. One one sad piece Aww. of basil. It's, it's a happy piece of basil. Sad. You see look at this um look at that soup there. Yeah, that's good though. <laughs> I don't know. They actually did cut it. Thank God. Really good leoparding on the crust, but it is really soft and floppy. Yeah. Will it be chewy? I don't know. I'm just gonna... Oh yeah, eat it like an animal. I'm eating this like an animal. Oh man. Oh, this is soupy. This one's soupy. I don't know how I feel about that. Mmm. It's the messiest, it's the cheesiest. Um, the soupiest. Uh, the chewiest. <laughs> it's really good though. Wow. I'm gonna put it, um... A second place. Okay. I think stop A was actually better. Wow. Oh wait, I should. I, I need to stop reviewing it before you can have a taste. It's okay. I don't want to sway your opinion. No, I know. I know how I feel personally. There's nothing I hate more than messy food. Yeah. But when it's pizza, it's worth it. Let me paint a picture for you guys here. It's it's the smell of pizza and scooter exhaust. <laughs> this is really good, but because it is so soft, 
I do kind of agree. Like the the Stomp B had a crispy crunch to it yeah. that I liked better. I shouldn't take this into account, but the hardness to get the pizza. It's chaos. It's absolute chaos and that really detracts from the experience. But this is good. And I'm gonna keep eating this. <laughs> I do like the juiciness that like the the cheese and the, the marinara. Yeah, I mean, it's like a chewy, cheesy, doughy yeah. bite you get. But it's... And, it, well, and then you get, like, you get the remnants of the char on your hand when you're done eating it. What's your ranking here? I mean, we, I think we should agree on the ranking, so let's, no, of course. let's discuss. I mean... No, I um, honestly, I might put this in last place. Last. Okay. I mean, if you feel that strongly, I'm okay with it. I don't know if I feel that strongly. I kind of agree. It's too soupy for me. Too soupy. Yeah, too soupy. And I do, I, that is part of why it's like the crowds of it. Yeah, I mean, I think we need a, I mean, I know the soupy center is like something that's kind of standard here, but I mean, that's just not my personal taste. We're at our next place. This is Antica Pizzeria El something de Mateo. It is madness. Look at this car. Absolute madness. This is the line for pizza and this is a car. The line for the pizza is, is just... This guy's gonna run over someone's foot trying to get by. It's just absolute madness here. Um, this was, a, this was, the, we were in the line and then cars came through. I like how they have a sign that says no fake pizza with a knife. I guess that means if you cut it, it's fake. I don't really know. But oh. That's what it seems like to me. Look, Bill Clinton was here. Yeah. It's really funny. We got the popular place right here, huge crowd, and then we have a Barker down there trying to get us to go to the less popular place, barking at everybody in line here. Maybe try to have but, better pizza. Yeah, it's not working. Everyone wants to come here. They've read about it online. Apparently it's better. We'll see. So this is stop D. Absolutely insanity here. Again, we got the folded pizza. <laughs> it's so it's, crazy. It's Look tough. at the crowd behind Brian. That's the people trying to yeah, get pizza. And cool. this is the tightest, smallest little alleyway. It was two two euros. It's getting, we're at the fourth stop. We're at D, it's already, it's, packed. it's taking a toll. Um, here, here's, here's what we got here. We got the margarita, Yum. lots of sauce, not much cheese. Looks a lot like stop B. One basil. Look at the, 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 the leoparding over there. Wow. Not very even spotting. No. Also, this was like in a stack of pizzas, so it's This was in a like stack. I'm, I'm, I'm going in right in the middle. Of course, it's the way to do it. Wait, okay, don't tell me how you feel in terms of ranking this time. No crunch Okay. on that crust. That is a soft, soft crust. Because B had a little crunch, I thought. I wanna see what you think. It's absolute insanity here. Again, this is the D Mateo. Eating by a trash can, that's what they want you to do. It's crazy, there's just massive lines and then people try to ride their, their um, scooters and their cars down through here. Last place. Last place? What do you think? I, I kind of agree with that. It's too soupy, but the last place we went to, Stop C, that was like good soupy. This one's not so good. It's almost watery. It's watery. Again, two euros for this. I mean, I mean, this was, the Coke was two euros. So we got two. We, this was four euros. This was more expensive than the pizza. So, you know. I also, I think it's important to add that like, this is probably better than most pizza in America still. So even yeah. though it's like on the bottom, it's like still really good. Yeah. So, so if, if we rank our stops, do you think it's A, B, C, D right now? Yeah, I it do. Really is, it really is A, B, C, D. It's going in the order of the alphabet. Okay, it smells over here. Let's and, and not like pizza. For, <laughs> who would have guessed? Okay, let's let's go. <laughs> Still good though. Of course. Hey, you you kind of uh, match the trash can. Oh, thank you. And Italy. That's what I was going for. We're sort of in a touristy area right here. The street goes all the way down there. You can see all the people down this street. And here's Carrie. There's a clock tower. Oh, wow. 
So our last stop, stop D, Danateo is down there. And our next stop is actually just a four minute walk down this street. It's really funny, at the last stop, uh, it was two euros and we don't have much uh, cash. So we had a 20 and some change. Tried to give the guy a 20 for the two euro pizza. And he's like, he's like, come on. He's like, come on, it's two euros, come on. So I was like digging so we in had my to pocket. Dig through the change, like, it's funny. It's like, that's the kind of vibe you get. The guy's like, really, come on. I think it's because there was such a long line. He didn't want to try to give you change. Yeah, but I mean, hey, come on. I don't have much cash here. So we're at stop E. Or what was supposed to be stop E. I think due to the crowds and it's not takeaway pizza, it's sit down pizza. We're going to skip this one yeah, and keep gonna, going. We're, we're cutting it from the list. It's just a little too crazy. It would, it would take forever. It's hectic. So uh, this is actually taking longer than we anticipated. And we're actually cutting another thing from our list, too. We had another stop that was like really far out of the way. The reviews were amazing, but it's just, it's way too far. We, it, it's not on our path. Like, I mean, it is, but it's like really far out of the way. So we're cutting two places so far, so. It's not gonna be 10 anymore, it's gonna be eight, unless there's more to cut. Yeah. <laughs> Directly behind Brian to the left is our next stop, stop E. This is La Antichisma Pizzeria. Again, we have the wallet pizza. I was not expecting this many wallet pizzas, but here we are. As far as vibes go, this place is my favorite because we just walked right up, we asked for a pizza, there weren't any crowds, they were super nice to us because they were like, oh, this needs to be warmed up. And they went, warmed it up for us, gave it back. They served it with a smile. <laughs> they did, I think so far the service was the best here. Yes. Let me open this bad boy up. Oh wow, look at this. We got that olive oil and the sauce, not much cheese. This is mostly sauce. It's kind of, it's the same. Mostly sauce and olive oil here, I think. Yeah, the other portafiglios that we've had. Not, not much cheese on this one, no basil. We basically went online before we came here. We did a lot of research trying to find the best places. Obviously, there's a million places here, but we did our best. Like we looked at so many. Like, here's the top ten list of in Naples. Here's the top three. We looked at Google reviews. We looked at a ton of different things. We compiled this list, and then we had a lot. And then we, there was some there like way outside the city. We can't do it. And like, the our feet that, like, worked, can only work so hard. Like the top ones that like worked on our route. That's how we compiled this list. Exactly. And I think we did a good job. Of course. It's a hard thing to do. Okay, let me, I'm gonna go crust first. Okay. This one looks like the crust is like uh, a little browner. Yeah, it's great leoparding here. Crunchy, I like the crunch. I like the crunch a lot. I immediately had the crunch and then the softness, which I okay, like. Okay, I like to hear that. You can taste the charm. I like the taste of that charm, you know? I like tasting that. Going for the middle now, the soupy center. Mm. Okay, I'm really excited to eat this. Okay. What I like about it too is that I already liked it because of how nice they were to us. Something about this place. Okay, I'm not, I'm gonna give you my review. You are influencing me already. This is number one for me. Yeah. Obviously, we need to come to a consensus. This is where this is a team effort. Of course. But I need to take another bite before I hand this over. Yeah. That's how good it is. Because it's so good. Wow. Right by some books. Read up on your pizza literature, yeah, people. Maybe. Get a cookbook. Again, two euros. Two euros for the pizza. You can't beat that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that cheese pull. Look at that. That soft dough. Did you get the crunch on the middle or is that just on the outside? Crunch is in the middle too. Yeah, I like that it's a little crispier and I like that there's, that I had that cheese pull, that there is cheese. Because some of these, they're not that cheesy. And you know what, I mean, you are not the biggest cheese fan. Well, so. but when it comes to pizza, yeah, I'm okay. a cheese fan. You, you like mozzarella. That's what I'm coming to realize, that just, I used to say I'm not a cheese fan, but there's certain types of cheese that I do like. Um, and mozzarella is definitely one of them. This is delicious. I do, you can taste that, um, the, the char. char. Yeah, the char. In a I, good I, way. I like the good char taste. I'm a big fan of that. I've always, I always have been. 
you can kind of see you can kind of see that that olive oil in there unless i'm mistaken and that's the um that could be just the sauce the sauce is tomato very sauce, sweet maybe? i feel like in a in a you good can, way too. It's, a, it's a fresh it's fresh tomato again i'm gonna touch this which brian won't like that's fine i am a germaphobe but it's it's okay it's, it's for a good cause number one <laughs> port alba La Ante Cristina might end up taking the victory here. I mean, so far it's number one. Carrie's crazed, which is always a good sign. It's making that smiley face again. It's, it's so good. Okay, so the current rankings so far are, are up to date uh, list. We have first place is E, this. Second place is A. Third place is B. Third place is... Wait. C. C. Fourth place is D. Did I get that right? I'm already confused. I need a graphic. I need a graphic on the screen to help me. <laughs> okay, this is our next stop. This is Da Attilo, but it is packed and um, it's table service. And the problem is... It's right it's, next to fish. It reeks of fish and that's where they kind of want you to eat. Um, but it's just way too packed and crazy. Uh, we don't have time. So we're gonna, we're cutting it. We're skipping it. We're skipping it, okay. Next stop, now we're up seven. Okay, this is our stop F. Let's hope it's not an F. <laughs> get it? I get it. Okay, this is Sorbillo, uh, Pizza Frida, and Porta wallet it's basically a wallet pizza and a fried pizza uh, again a huge huge crowd here people are jumping for joy for the pizza um, and it looks like that vent right there is an exhaust of their oven because I can smell that pizza exhaust and I think they're pumping it out onto us into the crowd do you see that I smell it I feel it they want us to feel how the pizza feels it's a whole experience Thank you. So this is stop F. This is Gino e Toto Sorbillo and it's Pizza Frida and Portafogio, which is the wallet pizza, the folded pizza. Let's let's look at the. We got the margarita folded pizza. It's burning my hand off right now. Give us now. a peek inside. Ooh, wow, there's there a lot oh, of cheese okay. in this one. We got the steam coming out. We got a lot of cheese. I my hand is on fire yes. underneath here. My hand yes. is on fire. That's got, how you know you're close to a volcano. We got the basil. So we got the green basil, the white mozzarella, the red sauce. It's all the colors of Italy. The flag of Italy right here. Um, this one looks good to be honest. Look at the leoparding there. Looks pretty good. How does it? How does the bread feel? Does it feel soft? Does it feel crunchy? It feels like I have a burn on my hand. Good. The place is right behind Brian the place on the is right. Right behind. You gotta get you. It's madness. Okay. I almost had a panic attack. It's fine. It's madness here. Okay. I can't explain Pizza it. Pizza madness. You know how we it went to gelato madness mania. It's that, but here it's for like, pizza. You know, we did we did uh, we did Pie Fest in Key West with Key Lime Pie. Now we're doing Pie Fest in Naples, Italy, but it's pizza pie. Yes. I don't think it will come across in video. The madness here, the, the pizza, people shoving in line. Yeah. Um, the line going out into the street, and then scooters coming by. Cars B even. Vans coming. Uh, 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 garbage trucks coming by. Line has to go. Um, disperse and then everyone tries to it it's crazy oh this is burning my hand yeah you should eat it okay oh by the way because of all the madness and our stomachs we might die so this is actually gonna be our last stop this sorry the, folks this is the finale we can't do it what stop letter are we at F F so we're at six we did six okay this that's not pretty bad. good not bad pretty we good did, we did seven pies in Key West we wanted to do ten today we our eyes were bigger than our stomachs yep It looked good when you did the opening of it. I was like, there's a lot of cheese in there. As long as it has that crispy crust, I could see it. No, okay. A little bit of a chewy 
crust. I don't love a chewy, chewy crust. Not much crunch on there, even though the leoparding looks good. By the way, the, the oven is venting out into the streets. It's a dirty trick they're playing, but it, I get it. Um, I mean, everything, everything is good. Like, we haven't had anything bad. No, we have not had a single bad pizza. I want to get, like, a just crust. It, it's not the best, I'll tell you that right now. Okay. Okay, you got my baby? <laughs> I am your baby. Okay. We also got the fried pizza here. We like this is this is really different than the first stop A. Um This is not the same type of fried pizza here. This is more of like a Looks like a bear claw like is, yeah, pastry. More of like a um This is almost more of that I don't know, like almost like a handheld donut-y type calzone almost. Yeah. But it's fried. Again, this is this is their specialty here is the fried pizza and the wallet pizza. So the the other stop that we were going to go to was the same thing, the wallet pizza again and the, the fried one. We're just like we can't we can't do it. It's one we can't eat that much. Too, it's like, like so chaotic and it's taking this is taking a lot longer than I thought and I would say the pizzas are a lot more similar than I would have thought they're they're all so similar yeah all right let's try this this is the pizza fritto they call it the fried pizza mm. <laughs> you hardly even got any in your mouth but the dough really it's like that fried dough yeah we love a fritta I love a Fritto. Trying to uh, show the inside here. You can see we got we got the sauce and cheese peeking through. I can't. It might be just like it's all right. the way I'm holding it. This is actually really good. This really is better than I expected. Almost a dessert type consistency to this yeah. dough. Almost like a donut. That's what it. Yeah, that's what it gives me. That's a that's a desserty dough right there. Wow. Brian's been trying this this whole time, and I've had to be holding this stuff and smelling it, and I haven't gotten to eat it yet. It's very tragic. I know. There's a lot of um, paper here. It's like folding a newspaper. Yeah. It's it's so sad how uh, they um. They have mm. a oh, did I undersell it? This is good. It's funny how they have a perfect pizza come out of the oven and they just go flop, flop, fold it up. Wow. Okay, so... Apparently you like this one more. Maybe I didn't get enough of that soupy center. You want to try the fried? Try the, try the, baby, try the Frida. Try the Frida. Please. I think this. I think you're gonna like this. I can't get. I, I like this. I can't get you away from that one. You want me to hold that one? Yeah, I'm scared. I'm gonna drop my baby. I feel like I have pizza sauce all over my face. It's okay. It's part of it. Oh, oh! Look at that cheese oozing out. Yeah, you get that cheese ooze. Uh, the sauce there. This is you unique. Can, oh, you can see some of the sauces on the outside. How did that happen? Oh, cheese pull. How did that sauce get on the outside? I honestly don't know. I feel like that wasn't there a second ago. Oh, you got a huge cheese pull. Do you like you like this one? Do you like the doughy outside of it? Cheese just doesn't stop. Does not stop. <laughs> Come on, just yank your head back. Yank your neck back. <laughs> Here, I'll hold the, I'll hold it, and you just walk away. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna end up taking the whole inside out. <laughs> Can you try to like the chomp on it? Uh. We know we know we've 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 hit our limit with the stops here when there's a meltdown happening here. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> so what do you think about the the dough and stuff? Wait. You like this one? 
Did this one surprise you? I can't have to hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one brought tears apparently. Okay, yeah, this is really good. It's very unique. It's not, I haven't tasted anything like this before. No. Yeah, I think it's good, but I like that better. So let's trade and yeah. then let's finish off our pizzas. I like this one better. I'm keeping Carrie from her pizza. This is this is a dangerous activity I'm doing. But I just wanted to say, what what's so unique about this, and I agree, I haven't had anything that has ever tasted like this. It's almost like that that doughy outside, almost like that, like I was saying, like a desserty outside, but then you have that savory inside. And I'm not used to this this like sweet. You know what I mean? It's like that sweet dough, like that fried dough, but then savory on the inside. It's almost like a donut. If you picture like a donut um, flavor, consistency, but then pizza on the yeah. inside. Like I, this is surprising me. I think I'd put this place in second place, maybe. This is good. If you wanted to put it in first, I think I'd be okay with that. I would go with second place. Okay. This is actually making me want to keep going. Carrie's, Carrie's eyes just got wide and she shook her head. Because I know the other place we were going to go to was had something similar to this. It almost is rejuvenating me in a way. This one's good. Okay, I'm going to stop. We're going to stop recording so Carrie can finish her pizza. <laughs> I got pizza sauce all over my face. But look at this cheese right here. That's a perfect bite right there. You got the bite of Italy right there. In green, white, and red. Look at Carrie's, this, ma'am. Carrie's in her green, representing Italy. We That's me. And we got this little kid over here, representing us right now. Look at this. Okay, so I guess, uh, yeah, this Gino Ito, Gino Itodo Serbillo is gonna take second place. Put me first. Are you, uh, are you for real? First place? It has so much cheese in Think it. Think about the, the uh, crunch and the char. I know. So we're almost done with our route. Our route ends at the ship and I can actually see the ship down there. That's Explorer of the Seas at the end of this street over here. Okay, so let's rank all of um, the, our pizza stops. So in first place. E. Uh, I think it's pretty clear to me and to Carrie that it's E. That was the place that barely had any cheese on it. But it was very friendly service. Well, yeah, and the, the crust was really good. Yeah, that's what it was all about there. I, I'm honestly gonna say a lot of this pizza is very similar. <laughs> Yeah. Like it's so, so similar. Whereas like when we did this with the key lime pie. Things were different. I feel like things were really different. Yeah. So it's um, hard to distinguish the difference between all of these. Yeah. In second place is stop F. And that was obviously the last place we stopped. But um, I don't know, that, that, was, that was probably the most unique. Yeah. In terms of the, the Frida that we had, the fried pizza. But I also really enjoyed the, the fold over wallet pizza. Yeah. I thought it was very yeah. tasty. So third place, uh, speaking of uh, fried pizza, third place was that first fried pizza we had. Completely different presentation than the other fried pizza. This was the one that was kind of like a volcano almost. Yeah. Yeah, that one was kind of like off the beaten track, yeah. but it was very tasty. It gave me, it gave me childhood memories and yes. flashbacks, and that's what made it very tasty yeah, and good. Was, yeah, that was our stop A, that, and um, you know, it's open for breakfast, so that's always good. The fourth place was uh, stop B for us. I don't know, I don't really have much to say about this one other than... It's good. It was good, yeah. Then fifth place, we have the Eat, Pray, Love place. That was the, the most popular one, the Pizzeria de Michelle. That was the only one that was like shaped like a pizza. <laughs> that was like, it came in a box. Yeah, that was the only one. I'm actually surprised. I didn't know everything was going to be folded over like it was. I was expecting a lot of these to 
come in a box, but they don't do. I that. guess when you get takeaway here, takeaway equals bit. folded pizza. But why didn't why didn't we love that one as much? It was just too much, too soupy. Too yeah. soupy. It almost needed to be folded so that it could contain all the soupiness. Yeah, I, I did really like that it came in a box. Kind of not a problem though. Like it, it still tasted good. That's the it, thing yeah, about all of these. Nothing, things. nothing was bad. Yep. I will say that nothing, absolutely nothing was bad. But I just had higher expectations, I think, for that one. It was probably the most crowded one we went to today. Yeah. And then last place was D. That was... Um, it was in a very crowded alleyway. It was the one that Bill Clinton went to. Um, and it was just fine. And, like, by the way, like, when we say, like, last place, still good. Still good pizza. Yeah. Better than Papa John's. <laughs> yeah. So this is the end of our, our walking trail. We planned it in such a way that we would come back to the ships. And there's the ships back there. So we're gonna head back onto our ship now. This did take a lot longer than I thought it would. I think it's because like we, we ended up waiting at a couple places yeah. and then like, I don't know, walking takes longer walking, than you think. Walking takes long. We did this whole thing by foot and it can take a long time. Yeah, also like you said, like I was not expecting lines like big lines in almost every place we went to because obviously they're the most popular places because we read about them online as i'm sure a bunch of so other did everyone else yeah. okay we're back on the ship and there's actually a bonus stop for pizza this is stop z and this is from the region called the royal promenade <laughs> it's uh Deck five. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Oh wow! This is a. It's well, written in all the reviews when you go to. This is a local place. Uh, only the locals know it. It's called Sorrento's. Wow. Owned by um, Sorrento. This is his place. Uh, looks like sauce all the way up to the last millimeter of the crust there. And certainly not soupy because if you were holding any of those not other pieces like that, all of the stuff would be flopping off. Um, I honestly, uh, no, no leoparding on this. Nope. On this right here. Um, looks fake. After what we just had, this looks, it looks like a fake piece of pizza. It looks like a... That one sign that we saw that said no fake pizza. This is, I guess, it this looks is, like This is the fake pizza. This looks like a cartoon. I'm eating like a pizza in a cartoon. Yeah. This doesn't seem real. Wow. <laughs> You know what it is? It's like, it's not fresh. It's like, it's like everywhere we had today is like, it's fresh. Like, that's the best way to describe it. Where this is just like, I mean, it's not, it's not horrible. No, of course. But it's like, I don't know, after eating what we ate today. It's not the same. This is comparing Papa John's to Naples, Italy. Yeah, you should try it. This is, I, I'm, this is an experience, honestly, like eat, tasting this after what we tasted today, it's honestly, it's something. <laughs> Pizza shouldn't do this. It defies gravity. That's what I'm saying. It's like, this it, is like um, at Dairy Queen when they hold the... Yeah, the blizzard, or, yeah, they go, yeah, here's, here's how we can tell that it's, it's a fake piece of pizza. It hits different now, doesn't it? Now I'm like, this isn't pizza. <laughs> But earlier in the cruise, we were like, oh, yum. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I got my dessert, though. Oh, yeah. Pineapple upside down cake. It, the, the eating never stops. <laughs> uh -uh. And it never will. <laughs> okay, back at our room. Let's see if we have a uh, Gus. We do. I Look love at this, this guy. guy. <gasps> it's cool. It's a turtle. Oh, no, wait. This is not. This stuff means that we have to go. This is not fun. Oh, they, oh, they thought, oh, they thought we brought two bags. How funny! That's is that? hilarious. How funny is it that they thought we have two bags? Two bags. <laughs> we, we have four bags. Oh, we need double that. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I wonder what the key gets us on departure day. But look okay, at the okay. guy. Yeah, let's let's focus on the turtle. Look, he's eating the seaweed. Oh, yum 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 yum. yum, yum. <laughs> I love the turtle. I do too. He's so okay. good at making towel animals. We've never had a stateroom attendant consistently give us ones in the morning and at night. And they're all kind of like new 
cool towel animals. I don't know how he hasn't run out of things to make. I know. He hasn't even made like the traditional ones that we always get, really. I know. I, I'm I'm so tired. I am too. We've been at it since the morning and it's like four o'clock now. I need a nap. Oh, I'm so tired. My, my legs. How much have we walked today? Oh, we've only walked seven miles. Oh, just seven. Um, we. I think we're gonna just sit down, take a nap until dinner. Yes. Okay, we are pulling away from Naples. Um, we have a few extra passengers <laughs> in bird form. <laughs> um, it looks really nice. The birds are out, and we have some passengers not behaving like good passengers and feeding some of the birds and. It's a feeding frenzy over here. This is not good. We've never seen any behavior like this before. Now my time lapse is going to be covered in birds. <laughs> There's so many of them now. I'm ready for our own sort of feeding frenzy. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think we're gonna have? I, don't, I think what are we what are we gonna do? Johnny Rockets or the buffet? Windjammer. I think the buffet. Windjammer? Because, because today we have one food. And so I'm ready for more variety. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. So I'm not very hungry, but it's time for dinner, so <laughs> <laughs> we do what we must do. We do what we must. Oh, do wind no. oh the we didn't know the flavor or not the flavor but the the theme tonight is flavors of india we didn't know that that's like my I, least favorite of the game. it's okay there's gonna be other stuff too you're right you're so right <laughs> but first washi washi so for dinner tonight i have of course spaghetti one in rome and then i found chicken stir fry and a beautiful steak we're not in rome yet tomorrow and I got a Coke cherry. Oh. Or actually Coke Zero with cherry in it. Well, I discovered today they have a burger of the day. <gasps> what? Did you know about that? Well, I got the one on day one, but I didn't know it was like burger of the day. I got the burger of the day. This is mozzarella pesto burger. Oh my God, that actually sounds really good. Yeah. I'm kind of jealous. Then I got some fries with ketchup right on top, just like an animal would do. <laughs> Because everyone knows the proper way to eat french fries is to have ketchup dipped on the side. I kind of like it on top, just like a lunatic. And then I got one sad chicken finger on the side. <laughs> you didn't have to, there were plenty, but I know, yeah. you chose that. So we have a dinner time question now. By the way, if you have a dinner time question, leave it below for us. We would love to get to it on a future cruise. Tonight we have a question from two different people. Jim Ward asks, just a question, who is paying and how much money? Also, Jonathan Buss asks, are you paid by cruise liners to do this? Or how do you have the money to have so many cruises? It's like kind of two questions. Like, are we getting paid by the cruise line to do this? Uh, no, we've never, and honestly, probably never will. But if we did, we would have to tell you because that's the rule. If the cruise paid for your thing, it's like all blogging things. It's like that you have to disclose that you were paid or you were given it for free. That's the rule. Um, but no, that's never happened. They have no idea who we are. And I think like for Royal Caribbean, they really want to expand their reach of like the cruising message. And they're gonna go on to Instagram and get, and this is all my opinion. It's like social media. Like social media, Instagram influencers who are not in the niche of cruising to go, look what cruising is, look what, that's just, that's, that's my opinion. That's what I think Royal is doing for their influencers. Right. I don't think they're ever gonna come to us. I mean, everybody who watches us knows what the deal is with Royal and cruising. Yeah. They've never paid us. Now the other question is like, the other half of the question is, did I pay for it or did Carrie pay for it? And I mean, that answer is like, we always, we split the cost of every cruise. I pay half, Carrie pays half. We try to get cruising deals. Like we booked this cruise a year and a half ago to get a really good deal. Yeah. Um, we do uh, bids for upgrades. You know, we do casino offer deals. Like 
Every time we've had a suite, we've we've gotten it because it was like on a discount. Uh, we got like a yeah, percentage I mean, off, or we bid for it we're yeah. using Royal Up. Every like, I would say almost every cruise we've done is like on a deal. You know, there's probably only like two maybe that it's like we didn't get a good deal. We on splurged it. a little, yeah. yeah. Okay, it's time for dessert. Where did you get what you got? Carrie's shocked. And upset. <laughs> I got custom donuts. I made these donuts. I made one with chocolate, and I, I'm guessing this is caramel. So I did that. Where? There's a custom donut station. I've never seen it before. That's so rude. So you didn't get me one. Here, I'll split it in half. I'll cut them in half. Oh, good. <laughs> There's mudslide cookies, but they're different from the regular mudslide cookies. Oh wow, look, it's smaller and thicker. Yeah. Also, I saw a little girl reach out and grab one with her bare hands instead of the tongs. Yeah. <laughs> to be expected. <laughs> I got apple cobbler, and then this is like shortbread and berries. Wow. I can't believe they have donuts, because I've never seen this before. I want that. This is the first time I'm looking at the, um, the day of the week on the elevator, because I've trained myself not to look because it just makes me sad because it's like, oh, the cruise are just going, do you do that? I don't look because the words don't mean anything to me. Like if it was a work week, the words mean something to me. They don't mean anything during a <laughs> vacation. Oh, I don't even know what, it's like, I literally don't even know. It's empty because we put the magnets in our, we, in our we had suitcases. To pack, we had to pack our magnets and now it's like, I literally, I knew this was our room, but I'm like. It looks sad and our suitcases are gone and I'm sad and we never get like this. For the first time ever we actually put out our luggage. Normally the, on the night before. On the last day we like we don't even think about it. We don't think about it until the morning later, but they they forced us to Cuz every other cruise we've been on, we've packed the morning we leave. Yeah. So will we have a grand finale I of know. a Gus? It's not looking like it from here. Oh, <laughs> we do. <laughs> Where? Where? There's two. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a fire hazard. <laughs> it is. They're, okay, I don't know if you can see it because it's like blown out, but they're on the lamps. So we have one little guy up here, and then I'm gonna come over to Brian's side of the bed. And there- One eye, one eye in this guy looks like it's upside down maybe. Yeah, but he's, that's okay. He's a little different. I like them, they're like little turkeys little birds maybe it's like the seagulls that were flying outside our room earlier oh that's why he did that's that. why i did it okay let's let's look at the tv see where we are by the way the pineapple upside down cake it's the best dessert item on board somehow it's good it's really good the cafe prom it's, it's sugar free cafe promenade or i've probably oh, uh, no sugar added because i'm sure there's sugar in the the fruit that's well, in yeah. it but i mean all this video is is food that's fine Look, we started in Ravenna. We sailed all the way around the boot of Italy, left Naples. Our next stop is Rome. But how, how cool is that, that we sailed all the way around there? You it's know? a really cool map. This is the coolest yeah. map we've ever had. <laughs> it is really cool. I mean, Norway is really cool too. What's but nice is that when we get to Rome, we still, we're still doing something. I know, where's the um, excursion tickets? Let's see. It's the last night of our cruise, but tomorrow, even though we get off the ship, we get off the ship in an excursion. And our excursion is... Um, St. Peter's Basilica Coliseum with City D. Bark. Yeah. Because we were not able to get a flight home at an yep. appropriate time tomorrow. So we're staying the night in Rome and then flying out the following day. Yeah. But what's great is we can do this excursion now. And we, now we can explore Rome. Which is nice. Rome yeah. is a place that you should have an excursion. So what's cool is... They took our luggage. So from what I understand, we go on the excursion tomorrow and then at the end, they'll give us our luggage. Yeah, I think the luggage is probably gonna go in the bus with us. Yeah, and then, okay, so, and then the excursion ends in the city right by our hotel. Yep. So it's kind of like an excursion and then also our transportation into Rome. This was a great cruise. I really like Explorer of the Seas. Um, and I guess we'll see you in the next cruise. See you there. Thanks for watching.